Hello, it's Nana here. At least it's Natalie's Nana and Roger's and Phillips and Theo's. If I'm not your Nana, why, you can just call me Nana Bess. And I'm here with my friend George, the baby dragon. Say hello, George. Hello, George. George, that's ridiculous. Say hello to the children out there. Hello to the children out there. George, quit being so silly. <laughs> I'd like to tease you. Well, I think that's okay. You can tease me if you want, but I thought you wanted me to tell you a story. Oh, yes. Please tell me a story. All right, I'll tell you a story. What story do you want to hear? I want to hear the story of the fierce, bad pirate. The fierce, bad pirate? Yes. I like to know what happens to him at the end, because he's so dead. Well, all right. Do you have anybody special you'd like to share this story with? Yes, I want to share this story with my friend, Genevieve. I think she would like this story. Okay, but you know that means... Yeah. You have to sit on the table. I can't tell the story if you're in my lap. Okay, I'll get on the table. All right, say bye, George. Bye, George. George. See you all later. Well, the story of the fierce bad pirate starts with a piece of paper. You can use a piece of eight and a half by 11 printer paper if you want, as long as the paper is longer on one side than it is wide on the other. Now I've made one and unfolded it so it's very wrinkly, but it will make it easier for me to show you how to make your own pirate ship. You start by folding your paper in half across the fat, wide side. Then you need to fold that in half again along its new long side so that it's like a book. And when you do that, you have a nice crease down the center that lets you take the two corners of the folded edge and fold them down to the center like this. Now you see we have a triangle with two flaps on the end. Fold those flaps up on the outside of the triangle so that it looks like a hat. But don't wear it as a hat. It's too small for your head. Instead, take your finger and put it up inside and push the edges down and you have a diamond shape, a very special diamond shape. And I always tuck the little edges in down there. Just You can just crush them, but if you fold, the, fold them under, it makes a better boat. So now you have a diamond that has one, two, three points on three corners, but at the bottom it has two points, a front point and a back point. So fold the front point up to the top of the dot triangle, turn it around and fold the other up to the top of the triangle, and take your finger once again, stick it inside, press the edges down again and you have a diamond. But this time you're not going to fold it, you're going to pull it, and when you pull it, Look what you have, a wonderful boat that will sail in a creek or in a gutter or even in your bathtub. I used to make thousands and thousands of these and you can make them out of any paper just so long as one side is longer than the other. Now here's the story of the fierce bad pirate. Once upon a time, there was a fierce bad pirate and he sailed all over the ocean, stealing and robbing and sinking other ships. He was very fierce and he was very bad and he used his cannons to blast them out of the water. All the other ship's captains in the ocean said, we have had enough of this guy. We're gonna get rid of him. We're gonna chase him as far and as fast as we have to do. We'll chase him to the east. We'll chase him to the west. We'll chase him to the south. We'll chase him to the north, but we'll chase him until he is gone and doesn't come back. And that's just what they did. They chased him to the east. They chased him to the west. They chased him to the south. They chased him to the north. And he got so far north that he was up in the land of the icebergs. Big, tall mountains of ice that floated in the ocean. He was also very tired. He was so tired that he went down below deck and he got into his hammock and he fell asleep. 
and night came on and it was dark and nobody saw where they were going. And all of a sudden, pow, that boat crashed into an iceberg like that. And it broke the front of his boat right off. It broke the front, which is called the bow. And that bow sank to the bottom of the sea. Well, the captain jumped up and he put his boat in reverse without looking first and pow, he crashed the back end of his boat, which is called the stern, into, oh boy, this was a very well-built boat, but he crashed it anyway and it broke off and it sank to the bottom of the sea. And his bad luck wasn't over yet because just then, a terrible wind came up and it blew the sail right out of his boat. This paper doesn't want to tear very well. It blew the sail right out of his boat and it sank to the bottom of the sea. So then you know what happened to this boat, don't you? It too sank to the bottom of the sea. And all that was left of that pirate, that fierce bad pirate, was his shirt floating on the sea. And that's the story of the fierce bad pirate. I hope you liked it. Well, George, did you like that story? I loved it. Are you glad that bad pirate is gone? Oh, yes. I don't like pirates. Do you? No, I think pirates need to sink to the bottom of the sea and leave everybody else to have a good time out on the boats. Well, I'm glad he's gone. And I hope you like the story, too. I do, too. I hope you all like that story. That's all for today, but I'll come back again with more stories. And more George, too. Yep, more George. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.